Chapter 1 Introduction and External Overview Welcome to the Philips Respironix V680 Ventilator. Our demonstration today will be a basic overview of the layout, setup, and screen navigation. For a more in-depth exploration into all of the operations of V680, we recommend a thorough reading of the user manual. You can also get more information on the Philips website, the Philips Learning Center, and from your local Philips Hospital Respiratory Care representative. We say the Philips Respironix V680 is two ventilators in one, a dual-limb, full-featured critical care invasive ventilator, and a single-limb BiPAP ventilator with our gold standard non-invasive ventilation technology. For ease of use, the configuration and setup is geared towards whichever type of ventilation you are performing. In non-invasive ventilation, we will set up the ventilator as a single-limb, open-circuit configuration much like our BiPAP Vision, Focus, and V60 products. We have many years of proven success with this design, and a recent study showed our AutoTrack technology to deliver the highest level of ventilator synchrony. In invasive ventilation, we will set up the ventilator with the traditional dual-limb, closed-circuit configuration and incorporate an active exhalation valve like you would expect with an ICU ventilator. However, before we begin operating the V680, let's take a little tour around the exterior. Beginning at the front of the ventilator, let's first look at the screen. The Graphic User Interface, or GUI, is designed to be familiar, simple, and intuitive. Circuit connections are well marked, and pictograms indicate the connections for single-limb non-invasive, single-limb invasive, and dual-limb invasive ventilation. The exhalation limb of the dual-limb circuit connects to the inlet port of the expiratory system, or ESIS, cartridge. This component houses the exhalation flow sensor and diaphragm for interfacing with V680's active exhalation valve. If desired, the ESIS cartridge can be removed and then cleaned and disinfected or cleaned and sterilized by autoclaving. It is accessed via a removable cover. While standing in front of the ventilator, grasp the tab and slide the cover forward to access the ESIS cartridge. The cover is tethered with a light chain for safety. The cartridge easily snaps in and out for cleaning and replacement. The cover must be replaced for V680 to operate. Turning the unit 90 degrees so that the right side is facing you, we see the air inlet for the blower. This is filtered for purity and the filter is easily accessible for inspection and replacement. Simply grasp the tab and lift the magnetized panel to expose the filter. Rotating the unit another quarter turn reveals the input and output connections and the cooling fan for the electronic components. 50 PSI oxygen is connected via a country-specific high-pressure hose fitting. There is no input for compressed air, as the V680 has an integrated blower for supplying the air portion of the patient gas mix. There are two USB ports for future options, and the RS-232 connection is for software updates, as well as interfacing V680 with hospital information systems and monitors. It is also used to connect the unit to the RespiLink system, where available, for remote software upgrades and diagnostics. The Ethernet port and status display light are for future use. The final port on the right side of this panel is an analog connection for a nurse call system. While we have the unit turned around, please note the colored labels on the reverse side of the GUI. These show which options are installed in this particular V680 for easy reference. Rotate the unit another 90 degrees. There is a turn key below the side panel that releases it for easy access to the 4-hour backup battery. Turn the unit another 90 degrees and the GUI will be facing you once again.